How did I not know this three ingredient hack? Okay, I just have my crescents in my 12 cup muffin tin. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some no bake cheesecake filling. This stuff is so good, you guys. All right, and we're just gonna scoop just a little bit in each of our crescents, just like this. Oh my, this is gonna be so good. It's one of my favorite desserts and it's so easy. It's just three ingredients. This no bake cheesecake filling is a game changer, you guys. It tastes better than homemade cheesecake. You guys can tell me I'm wrong, but I will not listen. All right, get a nice scoop in each one of our little crescents. This is gonna be an easy three ingredient dessert. Just throw it in your oven right before your guests come and they will be so impressed with your skills. Okay, I think that one needed a little bit more and there you go. We did about like a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half in each one. All right, now our third and final ingredient is this delicious lemon curd. Oh my, would you look at that? And this actually can just drizzle right on top of our cheesecake just like that. Oh, I love lemon curd because it's so good. So like lemony and perfect for spring or summer. I have been making so many lemon desserts this spring. I'm gonna turn into a lemon. All right, almost done here. Just a little dollop in each of our little crescents on top of that cheesecake. It's just gonna give that delicious like lemon cheesecake taste to each of these. And if you can't find lemon curd, you can use lemon pie filling, you can use strawberry pie filling, you can use blueberry pie filling, whatever fruit you like, you can just throw it right in with your crescents. Oh my, that is beautiful. Mm. This lemon curd smells amazing. All right, now to finish these off, we're just gonna fold in each of our crescents just like this create like a little ball quickly close up all of your crescents some of them i might have overfilled a little bit but that's okay okay last one fold and close up that is it you guys these are ready for the oven my oven is set to 350 and they're only going to cook for 12 minutes easiest dessert you'll ever make all right, these babies cooked so fast. We have a little bit of spillage, but I know these are gonna be delicious. All right, before we're gonna try one of these, I'm gonna grab some powdered sugar. Just get a little bit right in there and let's just dust these babies. Get a nice yummy powdered sugar. It's gonna go so well with that lemon taste. Oh, I think we just need a little bit more. I love putting powdered sugar on my pastries. Obviously, this is totally optional. You can keep it a three ingredient dessert if you want to. Beautiful. Time to pop one of these out. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Just put my knife around it and make sure it doesn't get stuck. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, it's popping right out. Oh my, that looks like the best pastry I've ever made. Okay, let's give it a try. Mm. It's really good. 